How has it been picking the guys up this week in training after the defeat on Saturday? Yeah, it's always going to be tough, you know, uh, obviously getting the boys going again. But yeah, look, uh, we sort of said to the boys after the game that how many times have we felt the winning feeling? Uh, a fair few. Uh, so look, uh, you know, we, we, we regroup and go again, uh, go again this week. But yeah, it's been quite, uh, it's been quite a, a sort of uh, light week for the guys. Um, uh, but look, they're, they're raring to go again. One concern uh, after the game was the injury count from Saturday. How's that affected training and also selection this week? Yeah, it's been tough. Um, we picked up uh, three concussions, dislocated knee, and a couple of others to go with it. So I think there's about six lads from the from the actual squad that aren't in the squad this week. Uh, so I'm pretty bare bones. But look, no excuses. Come injuries, uh, uh, comes opportunity, and uh, it's great to see uh, Dylan, young Dylan Stocks uh, from the Colts starting on the wing this weekend. That's that's absolutely amazing for him, and hopefully he'll take the opportunity with both hands uh, and a couple of the other guys that have come onto the bench and into the starting 15 so like I said very excited to see those boys uh, play and and uh, and obviously get the Sime Cup experience. Do you know what I think uh, I think it's been slightly uh, a weird scenario playing two Sime Cups but uh, look we had a, an amazing feeling November it was such a, a special time for us and for, for a bunch of players and a lot of those players are here this weekend uh, so they know what it's like what it likes to, to win in Guernsey so uh, yeah like I said uh, hopefully they'll be looking forward to it I certainly am the coaching staff are and uh, regardless of the result we want to go out with a with a bang and uh, uh, and look forward to next season